Are you a dog lover or perhaps just curious about our furry friends? Then today's episode is for you. We're diving into history to discover some of the oldest dog breeds known to mankind. Understanding the lineage and characteristics of your beloved pet can not only make you a more informed owner, but also deepen your bond with your four-legged friend. After all, every breed has a unique story to tell. From the regal Saluki, considered to be the royal dog of Egypt, to the noble Akita, a breed steeped in Japanese tradition, we'll explore the rich histories and unique traits of these ancient breeds. So, are you ready for a gallop through history, chasing after the tales of our oldest canine companions? Then, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and join us on this exciting journey. In the heart of Japan, amidst a canvas of cherry blossoms and ancient temples, a noble breed of dog was born. This breed, known as the Akita Inu, is a glorious tapestry woven with threads of history, culture and spirit that have touched hearts around the globe. The Akita Inu story begins over 10,000 years ago. They emerged as robust hunting dogs, revered for their strength and endurance. Even today, they stand as majestic creatures, reaching up to 28 inches in height, their bodies adorned with a thick double coat, ranging from pure white to brindle, and a tail that elegantly curls over their back. Their alert eyes exude wisdom, hinting at an ancestry steeped in history. Yet. It is not just their physical grandeur that sets the Akita Inu apart. It's their unwavering loyalty, courage, and quiet dignity that truly define them. Akitas are not mere pets. They're companions in the truest sense. Despite their aloof nature, Akitas form deep bonds with their human counterparts, often prioritizing their well-being over their own. Perhaps no story better encapsulates this than the tale of Hachiko, the loyal Akita Inu, who waited for his deceased owner at a train station every day for nearly a decade. This poignant story has since been immortalized in film and a bronze statue, highlighting the breed's unparalleled loyalty. Beyond being symbols of loyalty, Akitas are also cultural icons. In Japan, they're considered national treasures and emblems of good health happiness and longevity. The birth of a child is often celebrated with the gift of a small Akita statue, wishing the child a long, healthy life. We only skim the surface of the Akita Inu's captivating narrative here. Yet it's clear that this breed, with its unique blend of strength, beauty and unyielding loyalty, holds a special place not just in canine history, but also in the hearts of those they touch. The Akita Inu is more than just a dog. It's a living testament to the enduring bond between humans and their canine companions. In the rugged mountains of Afghanistan, where survival depends on agility and endurance, a breed of dog was born that would captivate hearts worldwide. This breed, known as the Afghan Hound, is not merely a dog, it's a testament to resilience, grace, and an enduring spirit. The Afghan Hound is a sight to behold. With their long, silky coats, elegant necks, and dark, almond-shaped eyes, they exude an air of nobility and mystique. Their unique physicality is more than just beautiful. It's a product of thousands of years of adaptation to the harsh Afghan terrain. Yet, beyond their striking appearance, the Afghan hound is known for its distinct personality. They are independent, often described as cat-like, yet they form deep bonds with their human families, showing an affectionate side that can be surprisingly sweet. Their legacy in the show ring is equally impressive. With their flowing coats and poised gait, Afghan hounds have been a fixture in dog shows for decades. In 1957, an Afghan hound named Shurkan of Grandeur took the world by storm 
winning Best in Show at the prestigious Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, a feat repeated by another Afghan hound in 1983. But perhaps the most compelling stories of Afghan hounds are those of their heroism. One such tale tells of an Afghan hound who, despite being injured, led a lost mountaineer to safety, saving his life. These stories underscore the Afghan hound's bravery and loyalty, traits that often go unnoticed due to their aloof demeanor. This is a breed that embodies elegance and endurance, beauty and bravery. They are a living tapestry of history, culture and resilience, woven together over thousands of years. Their story is a reminder that beneath the surface of beauty and grace lies a spirit as rugged and enduring as the mountains they hail from. The Alaskan Malamute is a breed that embodies strength, resilience, and majestic beauty. With a history dating back to over 4,000 years, they were bred by the Malamuts, an Inuit tribe in Alaska, to pull heavy sleds over long distances in harsh, icy terrains. Their rich heritage as working dogs has shaped their unique physical attributes and temperament, setting them apart from other breeds. Physically, the Alaskan Malamute is a powerhouse. Males can weigh up to 85 pounds and stand 25 inches tall at the shoulder, while females are slightly smaller. Their double coat, comprising a dense undercoat and a thick, coarse outer layer, is designed to withstand the extreme cold of Alaska. This breed's physical characteristics are a testament to their original purpose as sled dogs, capable of surviving and thriving in the most challenging of climates. In terms of temperament, Alaskan Malamutes are known for their intelligence, loyalty, and friendly nature. Despite their impressive size and strength, they are often described as affectionate, playful, and great with children. They are social animals who thrive in the company of their human pack and are known to form deep bonds with their owners. However, owning an Alaskan Malamute is not a decision to be taken lightly. These dogs have high energy levels and require ample exercise to keep them healthy and content. They also have significant grooming needs due to their thick coats, which shed heavily twice a year. Training an Alaskan Malamute can be a challenge due to their independent and sometimes stubborn nature, but with patience and consistency, they can be well-trained companions. In conclusion, the Alaskan Malamute is a breed like no other, a combination of power, intelligence and loyalty wrapped in a majestic exterior. However, this breed is not for everyone. They require a dedicated owner who can provide them with the exercise, grooming and training they need. For those willing to meet these requirements, an Alaskan Malamute can be a rewarding and loving companion. The Basenji, often referred to as the Barkless Dog, is a unique breed that hails from the heart of Africa. With a history dating back thousands of years, this small but spirited breed offers a fascinating blend of characteristics that set it apart in the canine world. Physically, Basenjis are compact and athletic dogs, typically weighing between 22 to 24 pounds. Their short, fine coat, expressive almond-shaped eyes, and tightly curled tail make them instantly recognizable. But the trait that makes them truly stand out is their unique vocalization. Instead of traditional barking, Basenjis produce a range of unusual sounds, from howls to yodels, endearingly termed as baroos. The temperament of Basenjis reflects their hunting ancestry. They are intelligent, independent, and energetic. These traits make them excellent companions for active families, but they may also pose challenges for first-time dog owners. Health-wise, Basenjis are generally robust, but can be prone to certain conditions like Fanconi syndrome, a kidney disorder, and progressive retinal atrophy, 
which can affect their sight. Regular veterinary checkups can help ensure these dogs stay healthy. Basenjis hold a special place in the annals of history. They were highly valued by ancient civilizations in Africa for their hunting prowess. Images of dogs resembling Basenjis have even been found in Egyptian tombs, attesting to the breed's antiquity and cultural significance. In conclusion, the Basenji is an extraordinary breed. Their unique vocalizations, rich historical background, and vibrant personalities make them a captivating addition to the dog world. If you're seeking a pet that's a touch independent, a bit challenging, but overflowing with character, the Basenji could be your perfect match. It's not just a pet, but a journey into an ancient world filled with barus, laughter, and unforgettable moments. In the vast panorama of the canine kingdom, few breeds are as instantly recognizable or as steeply rooted in antiquity as the Chow Chow. With its lion-like appearance and noble demeanor, this breed is a living testament to the rich tapestry of dog history. Originating from northern China more than 2,000 years ago, the Chow Chow is one of the oldest dog breeds in existence. These dogs were multi-purpose, used for hunting, guarding, and pulling sleds. Their Chinese name, Song Shi Quan, translates to Puffy Lion Dog, a fitting description that captures their unique physical attributes. The Chow Chow is medium-sized but robust, with males standing up to 20 inches at the shoulder and weighing around 70 pounds. The breed's most distinguishing features are its deep-set almond eyes, large head, and a profuse double coat that comes in five different colors. Perhaps their most unique physical trait is their blue-black tongue, a feature they share with only one other breed, the Chinese Sha Pei. When it comes to temperament, the Chow Chow is often described as cat-like due to their aloof and independent nature. They are known to be reserved even with their owners. However, beneath their stern exterior lies a loyal and protective companion. They form strong bonds with their families and are known to be particularly gentle and patient with children. Chow Chows are not a breed for everyone. Their strong-willed and independent nature requires an owner who can provide firm, consistent training. They also require regular grooming to maintain their beautiful coat. But for those who understand and appreciate their unique character, owning a Chow Chow can be an incredibly rewarding experience. In conclusion, the Chow Chow is a breed like no other. Their unique physical traits, coupled with their rich history and distinctive temperament, make them one of the most unforgettable breeds in the dog world. As companions, they offer a unique blend of dignity, loyalty, and affection that is sure to leave a lasting impression. The Saluki, often hailed as the oldest dog breed in history, is a testament to the enduring bond between humans and canines. Originating from the Fertile Crescent, a region known as the Cradle of Civilization, the Saluki's history is as rich and captivating as the lands from which it hails. Bred by nomadic tribes for hunting, the Saluki boasts a deep-chested and long-legged physique perfectly designed for swift pursuits in harsh desert environments. Their slender bodies adorned with feathered ears and tails have been depicted in ancient artifacts, providing robust archaeological evidence dating back at least 5,000 years. In terms of appearance, the Saluki is the epitome of grace and elegance. Their smooth, silky coats and expressive eyes, coupled with their tall and lean stature, exude an air of royal dignity befitting their ancient lineage. The Saluki's temperament is as unique as its history. 
While they may come across as aloof or even shy with strangers, they are deeply devoted to their families. This one family dog is not particularly demonstrative, but forms strong, often exclusive bonds with their owners. The Saluki's journey to the Western world began in England before making its way to America. The first Saluki registered by the American Kennel Club was Giniat of Greville in 1929, marking the start of the breed's recognition and popularity in the United States. In conclusion, the Saluki is not just a dog breed, it's a living piece of history. Its majestic appearance, unique temperament, and rich heritage make it a truly special breed. Whether it's their ancient roots, their graceful looks, or their undying loyalty, each aspect of the Saluki tells a story of an extraordinary partnership between man and dog that has stood the test of time. Majestic, powerful and gentle, the Mastiff breed is a unique blend of strength and kindness. Dating back over 2,000 years, these imposing yet endearing dogs have left their paw prints throughout history. Originating from Britain, Mastiffs were bred as war dogs and protectors. Their impressive size and strength made them a formidable asset in battle, while their loyalty and protective instincts made them excellent guardians for homes and estates. Over the centuries, they've transitioned from warriors to companions, but their protective nature remains. Physically, the Mastiff is one of the largest dog breeds in existence, with males standing up to 30 inches at the shoulder and weighing between 160 to 230 pounds. Their mere presence commands attention. Despite their size, they are known for their calm demeanor and gentle nature. In terms of temperament, Mastiffs are often described as gentle giants. They are generally good-natured, patient, and loyal dogs. While they may be reserved around strangers due to their protective instincts, they form deep bonds with their families and are known to be particularly gentle with children. However, owning a Mastiff is not without challenges. Their size requires ample space and their drooling tendency might not suit everyone. They require moderate exercise to maintain their health and prevent obesity, a common issue within the breed. The Mastiff's rich history and noble character make it a breed like no other. Their imposing size might be intimidating, but beneath that giant exterior lies a heart of gold. Whether serving as a protector or a loving family companion, the Mastiff's unique blend of strength and gentleness truly sets them apart. And there you have it, folks, a journey through time, exploring some of the oldest dog breeds in history. From the regal Saluki to the noble Akita, we've discovered that each breed has a unique story etched into their genes. Understanding these histories and characteristics not only educates us but deepens our bond with these incredible creatures. They're more than just pets, they're a part of our history, our culture, and our families. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. We truly appreciate your support and would love to hear your thoughts. So don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel for more fantastic facts. We would also like to know what are your favorite dog breeds. Please let us know in the comments. And who knows, we may create another video like this for our viewers' favorite breeds. Before we wrap up, remember this quote by Orhan Pamuk, dogs do speak, but only to those who know how to listen. So let's continue learning, understanding, and appreciating our loyal companions. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep discovering fantastic facts.